Hey guys and welcome to a new episode of Nomadic Dmitry channel. So in this video we are going to discuss the boot options for the Mac OS and to be specific when it comes to loading alternative operating system on your Mac device there is not much options because initially by default you are limited by whatever Apple provides and means the default boot loader. In order to uh, load any operating system other than Mac you need to have specific boot loader for that reason. Well there is a of course default bootcamp kind of bootloader that allows you to boot Windows let's say but again it's not very customizable it doesn't have much options and I personally don't like it because it's I don't know it doesn't look good it's very very limited and I prefer a different option so for that option my default choice number one is usually the refined again I feel like this is one the is the best one this is the version that the modern version uh, I use personally to boot Linux for uh, for example and not only Linux you can actually boot Windows with this as well so instead of the default interface Face to load a Mac OS when you press the Alt uh, like option uh, key during the boot you can be presented with this dialog like this one so first what you need to do actually to install this bootloader since we discussed why you need it let's go ahead and actually try to install it so this is the URL you need to have uh, you need to go to actually um, download it but when you browse around this uh, website it's actually not that obvious where the installer located because there's mu so much links uh, you mean you overload with the information and you need actually get confused what exactly you need to install it so let me help you with that because I was puzzled myself so you are on this website and here are all the information you actually need to install it so this is a URL where you go mm, this is the website URL but to get the binary you need to actually go to this URL so let me copy this one and paste it here so let's do that this is the URL with the binary to install on your Mac you need to uh, download this binary uh, basically you press here and you are redirected to um, SourceForge URL basically it's a mirror to download this binary file basically okay let me cancel it because I already have it so the idea here is that you have just a script that you execute on your machine and in this way you get the bootloader uh, appearing by default on your Mac I've already actually done that so let me open the finder so the best way to actually install it is not by installing it in your current session it's not by installing it with your default user the best way to install it is actually by loading in the terminal mode in the single user mode or in this case actually in recovery mode on your Mac system and install it from there so this is the best way what I did I actually copied this file over there to the flash drive so you just need to have a spare USB drive you then I copy the file so basically you unzip the binary and you copy it right there so you're gonna have it on your flash drive so this is the first step you need to actually just uh, download the script and then we're gonna proceed and execute it from the recovery mode so let's go ahead and actually execute it from recovery mode so guys I've actually uh, already have the binary in this flash drive and I'm just gonna launch the computer just you need to press this button those buttons command and R to actually boot in the recovery mode well I have a password here let me type my password here because I have secure boot or how is it called the uh, file vault yes I have a file vault installed encrypted so my drive is encrypted that's why I need to type a password there might be some problems in some cases when you have your drive encrypted like mine so if you have uh, an option or if you're actually considering encrypting your drive maybe reconsider it sometimes it doesn't work well with this uh, multi-boot system so let me type the password all right and now we're lo uh, loading into the um, recovery mode why we actually need uh, to load into recovery mode to install the bootloader well because Mac OS in the recent version introduced the system file protection system integrity protection I think is SIP uh, that basically disallows modifying stuff like that much more a pain to actually install the bootloader this way so that's why I'm booting into recovery mode in recovery mode I'm going to install it so once it's launched I need to press the utilities over here at the top utilities terminal and you have there a bunch of options like restoring from the specific volume but we don't need all that right now we're in the bash command line we need to uh, type cd this one so and we're going to go ls to take a look at what do we have so we need to go to the volumes cd volumes press tab to actually do it quicker okay ls to see what we have yeah we need to go to reflash reflash is the name of this thumb drive cd reflash boom again 
and we actually need to go to this directory right here this is the binary that we copied from the website cd refined and again and what's left to install is actually this refined install script refined install it asks me about installing the bootloader basically uh, and I need to press yes and actually, actually gonna go proceed and install the bootloader on uh, our drive yes all right so it says it's actually installed and everything like that so basically this description right here says that you actually need to install it using this uh, recovery mode because this is the way to actually install it properly on, on your system that's what it says so we're in recovery mode and we install it properly so now it should work so i can just now let's say remove this thumb drive and just restart my computer all right, so I'm presented here with the options. Basically, it should work now. And let's say if I have a Linux a drive. Okay, so I'm gonna attach my Linux drive here. It's an SSD with the Linux installed. So let me proceed with that. Okay, so and now you see it's actually loading something. So and now I need to actually reboot because it need to update the boot options. So I press reboot computer. Now, as you can see, there's a Linux. If I press here, press enter, it's gonna boot Linux from my ssd drive which is exactly what we need so basically if you want to try out linux if you want to like educate yourself on that you can basically install linux on the flash drive and then boot from refined menu which is a great option you can actually just use it from the flash drive all the time there's nothing that stops you but now now you can actually stop at this point if this all you wanted to do but if you actually wanted to know how to configure the refined boot menu and how to change stuff if in, in case you actually need to change something then let's proceed and let me show you that i'll show you how to change configuration settings and how to remove it all right guys so we are back in the operating system and let's discuss what options we have in terms of in terms of customization of the bootloader as i said you in most cases you don't actually need to do that because it's done automatically and this bootloader automatically detects whatever you need but in case you want to customize it and play with it or remove it let's go ahead and do this so what you actually need to do first you need to launch um, terminal and once you launch the terminal you are in your home directory right so in your home directory you need to uh, create um, the folder called mnt or any basically any name that you want uh, in this folder we're gonna mount our um, bootloader to actually do operations with it so let's do it actually so i already have created this folder uh, mnt uh, so i don't need to create it but i'm gonna execute this command right here which you're gonna find in the description down below uh, to actually mount the drive with the bootloader all right let me let me type it and i type my password here all right so i've mounted my bootloader right here and next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna actually uh, to go to this directory well you can type this command right here or let me actually show you uh, manually how it's done how it like go directory by directory like case by case folder by folder <laughs> so i cd the mnt folder and cd folder well mnt folder has mounted our bootloader basically so and there are two folders here one of them in api so you need to go to api and then press ls to actually see the a list of the folders you have uh, actually let's do in this uh, more interesting way so we have apple boot refine and tools if you have an installed like linux on your machine without the refined most likely there's going to be like ubuntu folder right here and it's going to be uh, additional uh, bootloader so the beauty of efi bootloader let's say comparing to bios the default bios is it allows you to have multiple bootloaders added to your um, drive partition so in this case we only have apple and refine so in order to to uh, remove this refined bootloader what you need to do rm r and then you're gonna type refined once you press uh, enter it's gonna remove this folder refined but we don't want to remove it we actually want to um, go deeper and investigate what's there so we need to go to refined then ls and what do we have the main file that are interesting for us is refined conf and refined x64 efi so this is the bootloader itself actually and refined.conf is a configuration of course you can uh, edit this configuration with your favorite editor favorite text editor but for that exercise i would use gedit i have installed gedit on my mac because i just got used to gedit on linux that's why i like it and i'm gonna type the refined.conf 
to actually launch the configuration file and let's see let's see what's there here we have a bunch of things that you can play with for example i've modified the timeout time to 10 here because i don't want to wait more than 10 seconds in this selection window right where you select which operating system you want to boot so that's why i changed it to 10 i think by default it's 25 as far as i remember and then uh, what what else we have here is the interesting thing we have if you search for scan 4 uh, it's going to show you this basically it's what types of bootloader just to search on your machine basically where it's gonna search by default it's commanded right here but I have uncommented my file and modified it and so that's why for this reason well I have the same configuration as the default one is just like I have it right here so you can modify any way you want you can BIOS external you can remove it if you don't want to boot any BIOS systems if you don't have an optical drive you can remove optical and you can just modify any way you want so yeah what, what's here on Max you see yeah, it says by default what Max have and by default what PCs have so you can modify it any way you want uh, there are also a bunch of other options you can research over here uh, yeah I think what it has yeah it's interesting it's, it's about which Linux kernels it loads and other stuff here so yeah I don't know um, about all those options but this is like two which I actually think I find those useful so you can research on your own and uh, modify any way you want it this is it guys this is what I wanted to tell you about the refined bootloader and how I find it useful as I said I've actually used it like for many years and I find this, this is like the best one and you want to uh, look for when installing that operating systems uh, on your Mac because Mac when it comes to operating system it's not the best system I mean it's good system for Mac itself only but when it comes to other operating system maybe it's not the best solution because sometimes it's gonna cause some pain for you to be able actually to load something alternatively from your machine I think this is what my message is like research what exactly you want and this bot loader works fine but unfortunately the, the web page is not very user intuitive and maybe it takes time to understand like where to go but hopefully this tutorial was useful and you got what you wanted so thank you for watching if you find it found it useful please press the like button and see you again soon